What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we drove Team Aqua out of Slateport City and began to head northwards, as well as catching the newest member of our team, Raiju the Electrike, who I have just given an experience share, so now that he can start catching up, I would say, I would say Ghidorah is now in a place where I can actually start using him. Um, he wasn't too far behind. I'm glad that this Raiju also has static. Now, the other ability that Electric can have is Lightning Rod, which I don't like very much because all it does is draw electric attacks to it in double battles. Static is really nice because all direct attacks on Raiju have a 30% of paraly chance excuse me, of paralyzing the opponent that hit it, which is pretty nice. Now, Raiju can't really do much now, but we are going to try to slog through the rest of this route with Ghidorah. But before we do that, let's stop right here. And take a look at this place. Three steps and two steps to reach the wondrous Trick House. You know what? We're going to head right on in here. And as soon as you head in, you are being watched. You get a little flash. Go to where it flashed. And I can actually press the right button. Ah, grr. How did you know I concealed myself beneath this desk? You're sharp. Behold, for I am the greatest living mystery of a, ma of a man in all of Hoenn. They call me the Trick Master. <laughs> Glad to meet you. You, you've come to challenge my Trick House, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter the scroll here and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. Okay, so the way the Trick House works, and we're just going to head on and I'm going to show it to you. Yes, let's go inside. Every single one of these is a little bit of a dungeon. They've got um, a couple, like... They just got very, very, very weak, minute puzzles that you have to get around in this one. It's just to have the ability cut to get your way through, um, as well as beat some trainers. And then you also have to find a scroll, which has a password, which then allows you to go through the final door at the end. Once you have done that, you will then come face to face with the Trick Master, who will give you an item. You are allowed to do this basically after every single gym that you take down, which is uh, pretty cool. And the items, of course, get better over time. And I am i probably should have put a Quick Claw on Ghidorah instead of a Soft Sand, which makes me kind of feel like a dummy. Um, because then I would actually be able to attack first at times, but oh well. Alright, so we're gonna just battle our way through this whole thing, um, hopefully as efficiently as possible. Can you not? Can you not? Now one thing I didn't actually mention about Metal Claw, by the way, when it comes to Ghidorah, is that it actually has a brief, uh, a very small chance of increasing his attack power when if it lands successfully. So that's pretty nice. And thank you for wasting a turn on Sweet Scent. Please don't be paralyzed for this turn. Thank you. Okay, so we're definitely going to heal Ghidorah after this, and I'm going to rotate out his items so that he can have a quick claw. Thank you. That's right, so when we defeated last Sally. Uh, these, these are pretty straightforward dungeons. I mean, they do get more involved over time the further you get into the game, but they are always worth doing because they are, well, they're very simple, let's be honest. And also, where, no, no, blah, 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 I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave the menu, gosh. Give me, let's put the Quick Claw on you. Yes. I don't know why I thought Soft Stand would be a good idea. I'm not even going to use Mud Slap all that much. Um, and now we want, let's take, where is it? Cherry Berry, there you go. Let's use a Cherry Berry on Ghidorah. That heals Paralysis, and now we can continue on and cut through this with Ziggy. So you're probably wondering, why do I still have Ralts in my party? Um, and it's not, I, it isn't just because I forgot to, like, put Ralts away, because I know we're not going to be using them. No, the reason is, is because we're, she's actually going to be com come into play at some point here really soon. I'm just waiting to get a certain item, and then we're actually going to be backtracking back to, um, freaking, oh my gosh, what is the, <laughs> what is it called? The Duford Cave. Uh, I, it's not actually called Duford Cave, whatever it's called. We're going to be backtracking back there as soon as I get a certain, um, an access to a certain item. And then after we take care of that, then we will be dumping Ralts into a PC. But for now, she's staying put. All right, let's cut our way through here, take down this trainer. We're also going to want to stop at the scroll. There's also an item usually in every single one of these dungeons. Now, it's nothing special. It's usually just like a mail item. Now, mail is something that you can actually like put like small phrases in and send to other players, which is, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. It's a little bit of a novel thing. Um, you also can have your Pokemon hold them, like, when you trade them, which is, again, kind of cool. Don't, oh, freaking cute charm, I totally forgot about that. Ugh. Okay, well, hopefully Ghidorah can power through it and attack Skitty at least one more time, and then we don't have to worry about attract. No! 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 Oh, I can't believe you, and Sing landed, that's just really bad luck. Man, I got owned by a 50% chance twice in a row. At least I can't take any damage from her, so... Just continue to power through it till, till he wakes up. Oh no, we're gonna lower these rock hard defenses. 
and metal hard defenses. I'm so worried. So I, I am going to make it a point at least um, to try to come back to the trick house every single time we do take down a gem just so that we can go back through and take on whatever the next challenge is. Uh, just so that we can get all the stuff from it because like I said you get some pretty decent stuff from going through this trick house All right, there we go so Skitty's down. That's good. And now we got Meryl. I I Don't have no I don't have an electric move on right so I'm gonna pass up on that. Ooh, I probably should have still switched though I didn't mean to do that crap um Hmm no, 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 not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Just switch to Toothless. Just switch to Toothless. It's not worth it. Don't even try to do it. Because you don't know if the water gun's gonna one-shot you. Okay, let's just use Bullet Seed and get rid of this Meryl, and then we can switch back for the next Pokemon. Assuming it's not a water type, why aren't you dying? Oh my gosh, my luck. My luck right now is really bad. Ay, yi yi. All right, Meryl, you're going down to this absorb then. I'm just get, I'm just getting rid of you. Goodbye, goodbye, you chubby mouse, you adorable chubby mouse. It's mostly the ears. I think that's what makes Meryl so cute. It's the freaking ears. They're just ah, oh, they're so round and they look so. They just. I just wanna. I just wanna like play with the ears. I don't know. Listen, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so now we're dealing with a Shroomish, which does have effect spore, which is concerning. I will fully admit that. Um. However, if I can headbutt this thing into submission, there we go. I, that's exactly what I wanted was to flinch. Can I get it again? Yeah! Heck yeah! Absolutely destroyed. Okay, finally, my luck turned around with the Shroomish. And no effect spore. I will take it. I do think that Shroomish can have another ability, which is possible that it was on that Shroomish, which is why I didn't get affected. All right. Let me find a scroll. Let's see, leave a memory secret code written on the scroll, and we don't get to find out what that code is until we actually get to the door. It's only our player character's knowledge at the moment, which is, I don't know, it's a little, is that, is that fourth, no, it's not, I guess it's not fourth wall breaking. It's just, it's just a little odd, I suppose, because aren't you supposed to put yourself in the character's shoes, but I guess that, that also implies that you are detached from your character. I don't freaking know. Oh, speaking of mail, I'm dumb. I actually need to, after we finish this trick house, head back to Slateport and go to the mart and pick up a harbor mail and you will see why in a couple of episodes why that is necessary but i do need to do that so i'm gonna get that done right after we're done with this trick house oh yeah yeah how many more times can i say trick house youngster eddie sent out zigzagoon and it's derpy little face i just i just love the fact that it's like mouth is also zigzaggy like that's it's so freaking cute i love zigzagoon so much honestly the the, whoa, that was impressive, Ghidorah. I gotta hand it to you. But anyways, yeah, like the HM slave that I am definitely, like I definitely have like the most affection towards. I think it's just an adorable little guy. Oh my goodness. Okay, Metal Claw to victory, Ghidorah. Come on, we can do this. We're just dealing with normal types here. No, stop using Growl. Stop it. Stop it. Freaking rude. There we go. I wish we could get our attack increased, but no. And it's just going to keep using Growl. We're also not getting, like, any luck with... I guess we were getting luck with... No, 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 wait, we were. I'm stupid. I was going to say we're not getting any luck with the Quick Claw, but we absolutely were, because apparently now we're suddenly slower. Don't use... No, that's... That's rude. Don't, don't, don't flinch me. Don't flinch. Fine, we'll go back to using Metal Claw. Jeez. You are so... Freaking impolite. And Ghidorah is level 17 now. And hopefully Raiju is now level 13. Ooh, Iron Defense. That's a little bit overkill in my opinion, but it's still better than Harden, so we're still gonna we're still gonna take it. It might be useful in some scenarios, but honestly, it's kind of overkill, and I'll definitely be getting rid of it pretty quickly in the future. Um, so yeah. Raiju is level 13, that's also pretty good. I am kind of bummed that I did get an Electric at level 12, though, because I think you can catch Electrics as high as level 14 on this route, and that would have just allowed us to shortcut a few levels. All right, leave it wrote down the secret code on the door. Trickmaster is fabulous. Oh, he's so vain. He's so vain. Hi, dude. Hack, you've made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to plant those trees. You're almost equal in my greatness by one, two, three, four, five, six places. Fine, you have earned this reward, and we've obtained a rare candy. That is pretty awesome. And I'm going to immediately be using that on Ghidorah simply because of the fact that he just barely leveled up 
which means that the rare candy is going to get the it's going to get its full effect. If you use rare candies on Pokemon that really haven't gained all that much like like they have gained a sorry excuse me a ton of experience on the way to a level it's kind of a waste of a rare candy because it resets their experience down to zero at that level so basically it just goes the rest of the way to the level um and it, again it's kind of a waste of any excess experience that you've earned so i don't think if we head back in here another challenge starts I don't believe. Yep, I didn't think so. Okay, so he's waiting for us. So I'm actually going to head back to the Mart, and I'm just I'm just going to off-screen this because it's not necessary, but you're going to want to head back to... You want to head to Slateport Mart and grab yourself a Harbor Mail. And trust me when I say you do only need one, so... Now we move on. We're actually going to head on over in this direction, and we have a few trainers to take care of. Um, something else about that actually that right there just reminded me of when it comes to running is... Well, although running doesn't increase the encounter rate in tall grass in this game like it does in later generations the thing that running does do is it will actually make trainers more aware of you so they will turn to look at you so you can't use you can't essentially half the time use run to quickly hurry past a trainer otherwise they'll quickly turn to face you and then battle you anyway so if you're trying to get around a trainer make sure to walk not run um just a just an fyi um because that's exactly how that trainer there noticed me. Also, don't leech seed. Ugh. Freaking man. Leech seed's actually, like, really strong, too. Can you wake up, please? No. Okay, I better switch out, then, if that's the case. I'd better switch out. Because, uh, yeah, this is... Well, actually, I think I'm fine. I've got soda pops, so... I'm just gonna hope that whenever Ghidorah does wake up, uh, it doesn't... <laughs> It's not immediately paralyzed or put to sleep again. So, uh, just, just gonna keep spamming A. Just gonna keep spamming A. And it, oh my gosh, Ghidorah, wake up! I should have just used a freaking Chesto Berry. Ay, ay, ay. Taking its sweet time. If he doesn't wake up this time, I'm, I'm throwing my controller. Not actually, but thank you. Thank you for waking up. Okay. Can we, like, raise the attack, too? Okay. Didn't didn't do anything. That's good. Leech Seed is going to heal Shroomish a little bit, but then Metal Claw should hopefully, gosh, that's a lot of damage. Finish Shroomish off. Let's see it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm actually going to switch because I do want to get rid of the Leech Seed. Uh, Roselia, absolutely. We are going to switch to Toothless for this, and we are just going to Quick Attack. Just just Quick Attack. Even though, actually, mm, well, I guess I don't really have a choice, because I can't use Bullet Seed, um, or Absorb, and Fury Cutter and Quick Attack both have an equal chance of, well, I guess that can happen. The other fat problem is that Roselia can have the ability Poison Point, which is just, like, static, except for Poison, instead of paraly uh, Paralysis, obviously. Uh, I also do think that Paralysis has a, an, an increased chance of taking effect if you try to use a priority move. Don't quote me on that, but it certainly feels that way. At least in this generation. Okay, so taking down Aroma Lady Daisy. I believe she adds us to the Pokenav. Let's see. Oh, no, she does not. Okay, cool. I must be thinking of a different Aroma Lady then. All right, so I'm going to use a Soda Pop on Ghidorah. And then... I really wish I had more Paralysis heals, but I don't. Oh, I, for, I have so many potions. I need to be using those. Just getting rid of those so they're not taking up space on the inventory. Let's, let's, yeah, let's get a cherry berry. Why not? Let's do it. I cannot wait for the moment when we're able to get, like, full heals. That'll make a, that'll be a huge difference maker. All right, so let's cut our way up here, and we're going to take down these two trainers. I believe guy on the left is a guitarist, and guy on the right is a black belt, which means we got fighting and electric types to deal with. Woohoo! Basically, two types that that Ghidorah can't do a thing about. So this is going to be all Toothless's job, essentially. Okay, what do you, at least they used each have one. A Makuhita and a Voltorb. I'm glad it was a Voltorb and not a Magnemite, at the very least. Um, I guess Ghidorah can headbutt the Voltorb, so that's good. And then you can Bullet Seed the Makuhita. Gosh, I cannot wait for you to get Leaf Blade. It's going to be huge when I can get rid of Bullet Seed for that. Well, actually, I'd probably get rid of Absorb. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Whatever I'm feeling like at the time. Oh, Sonic Boom. That actually hurts a lot. Like, a lot. Because it does an exact amount. It always does exactly 20 damage. And no! You suck! If 
Fine, we're gonna give experience to Raiju then. Please do not kill Raiju. I will be very upset if you do. Very upset. Everyone focus the focus the Makuhita so it can't kill you. Thank you. And Voltorb, if you explode, I'm gonna be very upset with you. Ugh, okay. So a good experience for Raiju, at least. That's that matters. And Voltorb. Okay. Voltorb just use tackle. That's good. That's good. Now use tackle again and bullet seed again. And hopefully take down the Voltorb. It's looking like it. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so Voltorb is gone. And I am actually going to use... Well, I probably should just hurry back to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that really quickly. In fact, I am going to be doing that um, between episodes because I just realized this episode is actually coming to an end. So I'm going to grab this item here. And then we are going to call this episode quits. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.